All right, everyone. So I guess Brandon Ayuk called off the trade with the Steelers. So we're reading from JPA Football. They tweeted out this. Absolutely wild. Brandon Ayuk called off a trade at the Steelers in the 11th hour to take the original deal the 49ers had offered him from the start per Jay Glazer. Kyle Shanahan told Ayuk at practice that he was either getting traded today or would have to take the deal San Francisco offered him. And Ayuk ended up taking the deal. So this is actually, I think, a bigger deal than some people may, you know, talk about. Because the bottom line is some people will say, oh, well, who cares? The deal's already, you know, we already know he's on the team. It doesn't matter. But why I think this really matters is because this shows us the truth of the whole situation. The bottom line is Brandon Ayuk, everything he did this offseason had nothing to do with being upset with the 49ers, had nothing to do with wanting to be gone from the 49ers. It had everything to do with with trying to basically negotiate his way into a better deal. And that is important because if he was upset with the Niners and he was just, ah, I don't really want to be here. I don't really like this place. Then you know what would have happened? He would have either taken one of these deals or he would, even though he now has signed a deal, he would still be upset. But now we know with this on the table that as soon as it was offered up to him, meaning as soon as Brandon Ayuk heard from Shanahan and from the front office, hey, you know, you're going to be traded. If you don't accept our deal, he folded and he accepted the deal that was on the table. So that's big news because, you know, because it, it could have been a situation where Brennan Ayuk didn't like any of the trade offers for him, meaning the spots he could go to. And so he decided, you know what, I'm not going to take them. But this to me just shows a, a complete different side. And I think if you're a 49ers fan, this is exactly what you want to hear. Because this means that all of this stuff that happened in the offseason, this should go away. Right now that he's signed... This shouldn't be something that lingers into the year more than maybe he starts slow because he didn't have the training camp that he would usually have. But other than that, you're not going to have that problem because he does, in in the end, Bernie wants to be a member of San Francisco 49ers, and that's what matters. So thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.